Hello everyone, my name is LPS SugarPie and welcome back to another video. Today I will be teaching you guys how to edit your videos using iMovie. So I'm not going to make this intro too long because I want the video to be nice and short and snappy. So yeah, let's get right into it. Step 1. Film a video. Obviously you're going to have to film to make a video. I'm not going to be going through this too much because this video is mainly on how to edit your LPS videos. But while you're filming, make sure everything is the way you want it. Check the lighting, the set, Make sure your hands and nails are clean and your LPS is clean. I've watched videos where the person's nails were all chipped and broken off, and I just couldn't watch the video because it was so distracting and nasty. Don't forget to make a thumbnail too. Step 2. Uploading your videos. Upload your videos on your computer, laptop, or whatever you use to edit your videos. I usually edit only on my computer and upload my videos using photos. After I put my SD card into the computer, I would import my videos and wait. It doesn't take too long to import my videos. As soon as the videos are done importing, I go to iMovie and put my videos inside. They're usually already there, so then I start editing. The first thing I do is look through all my photos and drag all of them into the editor and make sure that I didn't miss any. The next thing I do is zoom in all the way to my clips to see like where the audio stops and where it begins so that I can cut out the parts where I'm not saying anything or doing anything. Here I am circling around this little area where there's no audio or me doing anything. And so what I do is I use Command B and I cut that little scene out so that it looks like I never did anything there. And then I just kind of make sure that everything is running smooth there. There's this option where I sometimes like to put a plain background into my the beginning of my video. And what I'll do is I'll just go to backgrounds and then I'll scroll down and look for the right background that I want to use. And then I'll just grab the background and put it to the, the beginning of the video. After that, I would grab a title and I would just pick the one that I like and drag it onto that background. And then after I've done that, I would name that title and put whatever I need to put there. So usually I would do this at the beginning of a video and it would just say like LPS popcorn skit or something like that. After typing in the title of my video, I would select the whole thing and then go through all the fonts that there is and select the one that I like. Then I would get over to these options up here where you can make it bold or italic and I just click the O. I forgot what that one was and then I made it bold. I can also mess with the size and uh, I just kind of experimented with this to see like what the sizes look like and I didn't want them to create two lines for the words if you guys know what I mean. So I just look for the small size. I also wanted to give my video a little filter, so I clicked on the video that I wanted to give a filter, and then I went up to this option right here where it's like three circles together, and then I clicked clip filters. <laughs> and then I just kind of experimented. It lets, it kind of plays the video clip for you with the filter. And so I just experimented with that until I found the one that I like. You can also go to the volume section and you can just make it super quiet or you can make it super duper loud. I don't encourage people that are editing videos to put the volume super loud with headphones on because it really does hurt. Also have this option where you can make the lighting brighter or you can make it like darker and then you can make the colors pop out more. You can just kind of experiment with this and just see how it looks. I definitely encourage you guys to experiment with iMovie because there's so many things you can do. Um, it's just through experimenting. There's this little magic wand in the corner that I use. It usually enhances your video to make it look better. Um, just to brighten up some things that you can't usually brighten up. It makes my videos a whole lot better and I like it. So if you want to add music, of course you want to add music, you would go to this little option right here where it says iTunes and audio. Uh, I usually have music there but not right now because my computer is being all weird. So what I would do is I would go to Finder and I would go through my documents, don't mind everything there. <laughs> then I would go to my Finder where it says music for videos and I would look for the music that I want for my video. Um, I just used that Cut That Cake and I dragged it into my video as you guys can see here. Uh, sometimes it's too loud where you can't hear yourself so you can usually edit that. Uh, as you can see here I'm kind of going through it to see how loud it is and uh, what I do is just kind of drag it down a little. I usually just drag it all the way to 10 or maybe 5. It depends on how loud you're talking, but you can do whatever you want, as long as you can hear yourself. If your music isn't long enough, you can go back and drag that music file and just put it in there and make it longer. Also, if your music is too long, you can use Command-B to make it smaller. 
Basically, when you're editing, just practice cutting stuff with Command V. And then if you mess up, you can just use Command Z and it will just redo the thing that you just did. There's this little button in the corner where you can click it and it can make your video into a theme. If you want to do that, it's probably the best way to quickly edit your video. But this video is almost towards the end, so what I'm going to be doing after that is just uh, uploading it. So there's this button in the corner where you can upload the video and you would just turn it into a file and name it. Uh, what I'm doing here is just naming it as you can see. And then after that I would press next, which I haven't done yet. There we go, and then I would save it into documents and it would load. It doesn't take too long, but you gotta give it time to like load and finally put itself in the documents. After your video has been downloaded into your documents, I would go to my YouTube channel, press the upload button, and then put my video in there. So this part is basically over. It's pretty simple. You guys don't really need to have me teach you guys how to do it. But um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and will help you with your videos. Um, yeah, I hope I don't, I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I got everything. Basically, you just need to experiment with iMovie until you get used to it. It's how I learned, and I, I never really watched videos on how to edit, but yeah, I just kind of got the hang of it. So you can do the same thing too. It's not that hard, and just don't give up. So those are the basics of editing. Um, if you guys want me to do like a tutorial on how to make a thumbnail or things like that, just comment down below what I should do. Um, I like doing this. It's fun. Well, guys, this is the ending of the video. So yeah, I'm LPSJ Rukai, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!